In the last 48 hours, there's been a bit of a diplomatic row between Lebanon and Saudi Arabia. You've recalled your ambassador. You've told their ambassador it's time to go back to Beirut. Are we in the middle of a diplomatic crisis? I don't think I would call it a crisis. I think we, uh, you know, we have come to the conclusion that dealing with uh, Lebanon and its current government uh, is uh, not uh, productive and not helpful. Uh, with Hezbollah's uh, continuing dominance of the political scene and with uh, what we perceive as a continuing reluctance by this government and Lebanese uh, political leaders in general to enact uh, the necessary reforms, the necessary actions to push Lebanon in the direction of real change, uh, we have uh, decided that uh, I think engagement at this point is not uh, productive or useful uh, uh, and it's not uh, really in our interest. Well, at the end of the day though, I mean, this minister's comments that apparently touched off the latest row um, were essentially saying that the war in Yemen is futile. Isn't that the conclusion that Saudi Arabia in a sense has come to? I mean, you guys are trying to get out, no? So uh, the comments by the minister are a symptom of uh, a reality, a reality that uh, the political scene in Lebanon continues to be dominated by Hezbollah, a terrorist group, a group that, by the way, arms and supplies and trains the Houthi militia. So for us, it is uh, broader than just the comments of one minister. It is more an indication of the state that Lebanon uh, is in. So it's not really just um, taking issue with these latest comments. That's correct. One has to wonder why anybody's listening to Lebanon's politicians at this point anyway. Which is why we don't think there's a need for our ambassador to be in Lebanon.